Bowl picks, New England versus the Vikings. Uh, I'm not I'm not buying New England. I mean that that was actually my very first pick, but I got on and changed it. <laughs> I just I'm not feeling it. Something just doesn't feel right about New England this season. I mean, you guys feel that? I mean, they don't seem invincible. And I know what are they? Three and one. The one loss to the Jets. Good game. I mean, they, they look they look good enough, but yeah, something just doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because they just haven't been at like full strength yet this season. And maybe that's it. I mean, Welker's just kind of getting back into it. Uh, he's been out a lot of the year. Brady was out an entire season. It's something. I it just it's something. It doesn't feel like the Patriots team, you know, that was on the field two seasons ago. They went undefeated. It just, it doesn't feel, uh, they don't uh, they don't seem to be as good. I don't know. We'll see, but I don't think they're going to the Super Bowl. I like, I, I'm, I, I tell you what, I am sticking with Baltimore. I know that New England just beat Baltimore, but it was a close game. Baltimore is only going to get better. I, I really, really like the Ravens. I, I really, I'm a huge Flacco fan now. Drafted them. Got them. I'm excited. And uh, boy, I like Baltimore. Just well-rounded. Get, imagine if that kid had a receiver to throw to in Baltimore. Really. I mean, imagine if his number one receiver wasn't Derek Mason. Ugh, scary. I mean, they're really good right now anyway. And I have a situation in my fantasy football life where I have Matt Schaub and also Joe Flacco. And I started Schaub, I mean, I, I drafted Schaub to be my starter. Flacco's my backup. But, uh, oh, man. I Like, now, every week, I'm like, oh, geez, what do I do? And here's the thing. With Flacco, you know what you're going to get. You're going to get a couple hundred yards, most likely two touchdowns. You're going to have a decent day, a quality day. Uh, you know, you're going to have a score you can use any week from a quarterback. Oh, that's a that's a usable, serviceable score. He's not going to have a huge game, it doesn't seem like, but he's not just going to have a, a giant stinker for you. With Matt Schaub, you're going to have some stinkers. You're going to have some games where you're very disappointed and he actually might lose the game because of his lack of ability to show up and play. But he's also going to have those games where he goes for 350 yards and four touchdowns and wins you the whole week by himself. So I have that to decide between every week. Well, do I go for solid and, you know, consistent and reliable 20 points from Joe Flacco, or do I go with a possible 10 or possible 35 from Matt Shaw? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that's what separates the men from the boys making decisions like that. All right, I guess we need to do the fantasy football face punch. Like I said, i got to kind of wing this. And Elliot, I think, gave me a number uh, that works 12% of the time, which is good enough for me. <laughs> Dude, if I can if I can get 12% of the time right, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I can always lie about some stuff. For people, you know, people always forget more stuff. So, yeah. I don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Brutal Legend. Oh, is that that game that's like... Is that the game that's like... Uh, is that like a, the video game that's kind of like Guitar Hero? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, Guitar Hero is pretty cool, man. I never really got into like the whole rock band and all the band-specific games. I need to make a tool one, and I would, I would play that. Uh, the power says, he personally watched Joe Flacco beat his favorite college team, oh, okay, a few years ago, undefeated on the year, and the favorite to win the national championship. Delaware was down 21-7 at half, and he personally beat him with his passing and running. No, he's incredible. Joe Flacco's a real deal, and I drafted him late. And uh, it's a it's an unlimited keep, keeper league, so I'm pretty sure this guy is going to be the future of my organization. I'm excited. Hey, uh, just joining us. You're listening to the Eric Pedigo Show. EricPedigo.com. And we talk sports. 
So if you're not into sports, I don't know, maybe you will be by the end. <laughs> we, uh, I did, just real quick, and we're, we're going to do the face punch here in just a second, but Fantasy Football 101 last weekend, last Saturday, uh, if you missed that, it's on every Saturday, Sports Radio 1450 on the AM dial here at Central Illinois. Also, SportsRadio1450.com. I am part of a four-man team that, uh, you know, uh, that we do this show, and it's it's a quality show. It's good advice. It's uh, Mark Graham, Adam Stark, myself, Nick Arelli, and we just, these last two weeks, we started splitting up. So the weekend before last was Mark and Adam, and then this past week, this past Saturday, was just uh, myself and Nick Arelli. And it went, if you didn't get a chance to listen, it went really, really well. Um, you know, try to listen. If you're not from around here and you're up early on a Saturday, get on sportsradio1450.com, click on listen now, and uh, I'm telling you, it's good stuff. And Nick Arelli and I, they, I, it's a good match. We're a good match. It, he's a funny kid. Uh, he does, like, nighttime on KISS FM, I think, around here. But he really knows his stuff when it comes to football. And I didn't know that because he's always been in the in the studio with us while we we're talking. And Adam and Mark and I all talk so much that this kid's never really got to say anything. He was mainly just like the producer. But now that it's just him and me and there's a little more talk time, it, it, boy, the kid does a great job. And he's really funny. And uh, the, the two of us together is just a riot. <laughs> it's The whole time is just a giant laugh fest. And, uh, of course, we have... Uh, you know, a couple strokes that call up and say stupid things. Like one guy calls every week and says, Hey, I was wondering if I should start Steve McNair this week. And then he hangs up because he's so hilarious. And it's like, come on, dude. Really? Steve McNair? Okay, yeah. I mean, what? Come on. It's just, people like that obviously aren't married and probably never will be. My wife's not letting me get up at 7. 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning to prank call the radio station? No way. <laughs> no way. Your sad and lonely men do that. Just very, very sad and incredibly lonely. Yeah, that's that. All right. Face football, face punch. I'm getting out of here. I'm tired.